Yo, are we still doing that office thing? I don't think so. Then what's Wesley doing here? Oh no, don't worry, this is for something else. Okay. Man, I'm running out of money. I need a job. Good thing there's gonna be a job fair. Let's check it out. Looking for work, Spencer? There are two upcoming job fairs for students to find gigs for summer and beyond. The city of Flagstaff's is April 14 from 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. at the downtown library. And our own Flagstaff Unified School District hosts one the next day on April 15 from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. at Killip Elementary. Go with the fourth and get hired, Panthers. Ms. Hepstreit's veterinary science class competed in the HOSA State Leadership Conference in Tucson last week, making them top 10. They even managed to get some homework done while they were there, so they didn't have to come home to too much work. The JROTC Color Guard, Raiders, and Marksmanship teams have been training hard for the events that they competed in earlier this month. Color Guard went down to Alhambra High School in Phoenix with two full teams on March 25th for the Color Guard and Drill competition. This has been their first competition since the 2019-2020 school year. The Raider and Marksmanship team hosted the Coconino Raider and Marksmanship competition on Saturday, April 1st. Many schools showed up to compete with a grand total of 13 different teams. Raiders were graded on the number of pull-ups, push-ups, and sit-ups they could each do in a minute. Then as a team, they carried a big log over 30 yards, ran with heavy jugs, and pushed the Coconino go-kart one lap around the track. The marksmanship team had each cadet shoot the best that they could over a duration of last week, either before or after school. Each of the other schools who competed in the competition did the same. After tallying all the scores, both Coconino teams came out as the first and second place winners, not to mention Bridget Enlow and Will Black as the top male and female shooters. Great job to each of the teams. Good luck to future competitions. Prom is April 29th from 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. at the Orpheum downtown. The theme is going to be Enchanted Masquerade and the tickets are available for purchase in the bookstore. $30 for one and $60 for two. Prices go up $5 each on April 17th. Only juniors and seniors may purchase prom tickets and you can only bring a maximum of one guest. They should make yo-yoing a sport. Hey, let's see what Chris has to say about that. That's a great idea. What's up Panthers, live from the Sports HQ. I'm Chris. And I'm Julian. And, and this, this is, is Panther, Panther Sports. Sports. What's up Panthers to our 26th episode of Sports. Stay strong through these last few months and good luck. Track and field had two events this past week. The first was at the Ron Smith Classic this past Saturday as top places were Nick Wolf for men's as he placed sixth in the 1600 meter and 13th in the 800 meter and Mary McGinley, who placed 5th in the 3200 meter and 15th in the 800 meter. Continuing with track and field, their other event was at the Scottsdale Distance Classic last Thursday with the men's top placer being Clayton Roten, placing 31st in the 1600 meter and Mary McGinley placing 17th in the 1600 meter. Good job, track, and now for beach volleyball. Beach volleyball had three games this past week. JV lost their only game against Arcadia, while for Varsity, they went 1-2 and two, with their best win being against Moabi, 3-2. and two. Good job, Varsity, on the win, and now for girls tennis. Girls tennis had two games this week as they went 0-2. We're pulling for the tennis team to win, and now for softball. Softball had three games this week as JV went 2-0-1 with their biggest win being against Prescott, 18-3. Varsity, they had a great week going 3-0 with their biggest win being against Mingus Union, the first game 16-1. Good job softball and now baseball. Baseball had two to four games as well this past week. The 9-10 team had four games going 1-1 one one, with their biggest win against Mingus 8-0. JV had two games going 0-2 and, and Varsity had three games going 2-1 with their biggest win against Prescott 15-3. That is it for results, now for upcoming games. Track and Field has the Bradshaw Mountain High School Invitational this Saturday at 7 a.m. at Bradshaw Mountain High School. Good luck to track and show out for them. Now for Beach Volleyball. Beach Volleyball has their final game of the regular season with their final match at Victory Lane Complex against Northwest Christian High School. Start time is at 3.30 p.m., so good luck to Beach Volleyball. Now for Girls Tennis. Girls Tennis has their final three games this week. The first is against Mingus Union tomorrow, a rivalry game on Friday against Black High and Lee Williams on Monday to close out the regular season. All games are here at Coconino with start times at 3 p.m. Good luck tennis and now for softball. Softball has four games this week. The two away games are tomorrow at Centennial Park to take on Lee Williams on Thursday and Mojave at their school on Friday. 
JV starts at 2 p.m. and varsity at 3.45 p.m. Then there are two home games on Friday against Mojave and Peoria on Tuesday with start times being JV at 2 p.m. and varsity at 4 p.m. Good luck softball, now for baseball. The 9 and 10 team has two games and the JV Steins have three games this week. The first for 9 and 10 and JV is at Lee Williams High School on Thursday with the 9 and 10 at 1.45 and JV Steins at 3.45 p.m. The 9 and 10 final game this week is on Saturday at 12 p.m. here against Barry Goldwater for JV. They play Moavi in a two-game series with the first being on Friday at their school at 3.45 p.m. and Monday at Coco at 2 p.m. Varsity had four games this week with the first being today at the Chase Field game against Lee Williams at 4.30 p.m. at the D-backs home stage. Then the Mojave series will be happening on Friday at their high school at 3.45 p.m. Then it is here on Monday at 4 p.m. Their final game is against Barry Goldwater on Saturday here at 2 p.m. Good luck to baseball this week. That's it for this week. Join us next week as we have the spring playoffs coming up soon. Now let's get back to the main HQ. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Face your fears, Panthers. Rawr! <laughs>